This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Bones Jones has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. John. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches. A difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Takedown defense holds up. A nice counter jab to snap the head back. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's six foot for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call card. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and right foot part. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice up the cut. Checks that leg kick. Nice crack there. How 
good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Again, going back to the jab just out of ring. Oh, big hit from Land. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Whiffs on that offering. Circling to his right. Oh, nice little right hook there. Lands a nice jab there. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedown. Jones is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. And a nice job at least staying. Oh! oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. He went out of that shot. Oh. Continue to rain down. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. What a tight arm bar. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Jones getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. And submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he needs nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these taking these submissions. Jones going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, look at that. High level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round here. Straight right is there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, beautiful job. Oh, now he's back up. Oh, 
stuffs the takedown without issue. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the steel between the rounds. But that's why we got the ball. Oh, and the to get this fight down. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Jones is back in side control here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Stay sharp, stay oh, that Kimura looks tight. No, oh, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Back to his feet. Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two. Oh! standing in front of him. shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Warrior. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.